And just like that, it's the end of a chapter for the Bookmark Bookstore on North Anthony Boulevard. After 25 years, the owner is retiring, but she says she's not packing everything up just yet. This is nothing compared to what I've got going on. <laughs> If success is measured by numbers, Lanny Connolly's got more than a few reasons to feel proud. I didn't realize that we were just that, that place that people loved coming to. And she's realizing just how much her work has meant as she gets ready to walk away from the place that's been like another child. You know, everyone's just been coming in and just, you know, telling me how much they're going to miss me, so. And not only will they miss her, but this used bookstore that for the past two decades has morphed people's love of books into friendships. Though after 25 years of holding the bookmark in place, Connolly is ready to turn the page and begin a new chapter. 25 years, that was a major goal for me. And uh, I feel like I'm going out on top. So it's a good time for me. It was 1993 that Connolly purchased the bookstore when it was on Times Corner. After moving locations, she started out with 500 square feet in a small inventory. Fast forward, now the space is four times the size with more books than she can count. As much as she's enjoyed the ride, she's ready for retirement. It's been a great business. I made a lot of money, I've made a lot of friends, and it's just been a great, great, business. Packing may not bring her as much joy, but considering the recent news, she may not have to fully say goodbye or any of her clients either. As of right now, um, I have another buyer interested in the store, so I should know soon whether they're going to purchase it or not. It would be the perfect ending to this story. If nothing would throw me more than to be able to hand off that torch to um, someone that can keep the business going. And Connolly hopes to learn of the buyer's decision in the next couple of days. Reporting from the Northeast Side, I'm Ruben Solis, Wayne 15 News.